フルカウンター These two characters are about to break in Grand Cross. Ella Escanon, Osa Rocks, they're gonna be probably the best duo in the game. Probably next to Case Arthur. Case Arthur, as we know, is probably likely coming out next week, even, or I guess on JP, or even at the end of next month. We know that one of the next big festival characters is gonna be him, which just means we're finally gonna get a human metal. Unfortunately, Eren tried doing that, but just didn't work. But we're gonna try him today because I feel like Ella Escanon is just like. Such a slept on character. I know he's very, very good, but no one uses him because the humans aren't really that good right now. But if you look towards like the new go-to teams right now, we have uh, Albedo. Albedo is a blue character and also a character that revolves around buffing up. And L.I. Escanor can only shut it down very easy, but also remove buffs too. Make making Albedo from basically one of the best characters in the game to a pretty decent character. Roxy, I'm still kind of working. it. Probably get it next week, but I'm going to make her relic. And uh, she comes from an actual decent character to a pretty good character with her relic. Because getting that Nibs extra beta stats, and I believe it is uh, Nibs and crit damage, it changes how a character works. I mean, if you look at crit damage below me, 200, it goes from basically, what, 290. That's a, like, what, 30% increase of crit damage. It's insane. And yeah, Kari right now, I mean, you can use Transcendence Barn. But we need a big DPS. We need an Albedo for the humans. We need a Demon King for humans. And that is what Arthur's going to be. I, I don't really see Arthur not coming out and not buffing up humans. Because that's literally what the character is doing in the actual law of 70 Sins. But maybe there's an off chance where he comes out and he buffs up Chaos Knight units. And you want to start using Chaos Knight characters. Which aren't any in the game. But maybe we get some in 2024. But I really doubt that this team is probably not going to be one of the best teams in the game. Uh, maybe Jenna in the sub slot. But lower CC, I'm not too sure. The go with your standard team. Lower CC is probably got a food, which is kind of what we don't want to find because, uh, yeah, it's not great. But like I said, Aaron right now is it's for today's video. We're not going to use it in the future, obviously. It's just like he is giving 20% or is it 5% attack rate stats towards time advantage. So we should ideally kill her very, very quickly with Escanor because uh, it's going to do probably a lot of damage right now. Uh, es uh, Aaron can go through evade if we do have it. They don't have it, but still it's fine now because we got a debuff on. And this should kill, right? There you go. So yeah, Ella Escanor is an absolutely insane counter, but typically dies after one turn because you uh, you just die to tier, right? But obviously, if we do get, you know, Arthur, who's maybe a bit more supportive in some way, then Ella Escanor can maybe survive one turn. But even though we've got two red characters or two blues, so we should easily destroy the actual uh, tier. Like, Eren should destroy him, but then the problem is hell, right? Hell is the big killer. Oh, so for some reason, I obviously get this a lot, right? Is uh, I always get people saying, yo, are you Aranero from the Bleach channel, right? Which uh, obviously I'm not. I'm sure some of you lot know, but we are, we are actually twins. No crit, wow. Huh. Okay, it was smart to go for the actual Aran there. I assumed he was going to kill Escanor with the AoE. But yeah, for some reason, on my last video, I got so many comments saying, yo, are you Aran? Someone even commented saying, you're Aran, you look slim. Uh, you just called my brother fat. <laughs> Alright, uh, we should get away. Yeah, he's got more buffs on the sprawl, so Eren does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, no stat lower, though. Uh, and no debuff. Yeah, wait, did I bring Saren and Con anyone? I don't think she kills. Yeah, maybe I, I kind of flopped by using, uh, not bringing Saren and Con. But maybe we kill? Nice. Yeah, the, the attack resets on the, or the extra attack resets. Oh, yeah, but we're dead now. Yikes, yeah, there's no way he doesn't kill two people. Yeah, and then kills Roxy, unfortunately, I think, from the looks of it. So what, Eren? Eren? Oh, he's doing almost, he almost didn't kill. I guess that was smart. This doesn't kill because she still has to revive. Uh, but let's see if this would have killed anyway. Definitely not. I think we might have killed if we had the relic, you know. We didn't even kill, I just realized. Yeah, she still got ultimate. Okay, sick. Ult rush. Sick. Okay, so he's got Merlin. Okay, why though? Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, I mean, if I had my um, Eren, we might have been able to kill through here. So I'm just going to do this turn one. Actually, no, he's got a baby food. We know he does. No, he's got ultimate food. So we can go crazy, I think. Uh, he hasn't got timing link on. So do we need to turn up turn one? Probably not. On the He could get... Uh, i do AB. He could get... um. A stun, but this should be easily kill here. Oh, right, he's got res. Okay, but we still kill. Nice. Uh, bro, I haven't seen Elizabeth in... Okay, we still kill anyway, but like, yeah, if I'm a Roxy Relic dead, I actually would have killed. 
But honestly, one thing I'm looking forward to is KS Alpha. It's just a good DPS character for Alpha. Like, I was kind of disappointed with how he handled Excalibur Alpha with the fact that he was kind of a taunt character. I mean, it was good for what he needed to be, and he was actually very good, especially during the Barn method. But, like, it wasn't him being good. I mean, he was because he did, like, the little stuff, but it was, you know, Barn that got all the attention. All right, this uh, should pretty much kill away. All right, it looks like Alpha, not Alpha, the Demon is going to get his buff, but um, we didn't kill any demons. So, we're fine, right? Hope that goes into Elizabeth. It didn't. Okay, well, it's not the worst. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that actually would have killed Elizabeth. I kind of wish I went into her. Uh, he's got a stun. At least he's killing my... Oh, wait, no, that's not a stun. Uh, uh, wait, what's he doing? I bet this is a real play as well. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we can buff remove the Demon King. Ooh, we survived. I've had my relic. That actually would have worked there. Um... What does Arthur's passive even do? I actually don't even know. Is it even does it even work in PP? It does. Um, okay, increase max HP for each human ally in the battlefield. Whenever they hear his the stance, one buff is removed. Oh, okay. And it was a crit defense. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, hold that target right past. I just realized. Wow, okay. I just realized that. Oh no, it's not gonna go to the right person. I just realized Arthur can buff uh crit remove. Oh, not crit remove. Oh, what's it? Uh, ultimate roof. Okay, that's, that saved us there. Okay, not too bad. He definitely kills Eskimo here. Never mind. Wasted a tier two on that. Is he a real person? I'm pretty sure he's a real person. You know, you get to see ultimate. It's actually pretty sick. It's one of my favorites in the game because it reminds me of Chainsaw Man. If, like, they combined it, uh, Denji and uh, Makamu into one, basically. All right, so final game here, we found a demon team. Quite rare right now to me, I'm not going to lie, because Alberto exists, and obviously the unknown. So you don't really see too many of these lot running around now. Uh, he's got the timer link on. It's not you, so we'll go for him straight away, because kind of like what I like to always do. Uh, yeah, probably, why not? And then we'll try and kill... I mean, normally I don't bring Arthur, so I'm not... Wow, okay. Uh, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, okay, I'll bring Arthur to one shot, like the blue characters, but Eska's already doing that. So, like, Eska, you don't even need Aaron, to be fair, but I, I think Taunting Up might be kind of sick to kind of stop debuffing. But when Melly's in True Magic, he does do uh, more damage for starting units, so I'm pretty sure I'd die anyway. Honestly, I might rush Ultimate. Yeah, I'm gonna rush Ultimate. I, we can't one shot a Demon King, though. Okay, it'd be pretty nice if we one shot here. I might be throwing because I'm pretty sure I still get drained. But if we one shot, we didn't one shot. Wait. Oh, I still got drained. Okay, it's still fine, though. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. We can't be uh, debuffed here. And uh, we can definitely one-shot the melee. Love to see it. <laughs> um, he... No, I'm not going to get disabled. But yeah, this is probably the best thing, because normally Eskimo will die like, turn two. But at least at like, we can, like, kind of use him as a suicide. Oh, we got ultimate. Oh, right. Okay, nice. Um, okay, well, we have to use him, then. Because if we kill the melee, then he's going to revive. Or not revive, but he's going to have the ultimate. So we have to give him the kill here. Oh, oh right, he removes it. He, he loses damage cap. I forgot. I forgot because normally you don't survive past turn two with uh with Demon King, so that's sick. Yeah, man, it's crazy how demons fell off, you know. Like, that is crazy. Okay, boys, thank you for watching today's video. Once again, I'm going to work on getting a uh, Roxy Relic in preparation of obviously getting Chaos Alpha. And uh, yeah, these two are going to be a menace, man. Because, like, how do you counter them? We'll probably have to get a good red character. But then if you get a good red character, Roxy can still eat them up a little bit. But uh, I'm. Not looking forward to it because humans. Nah, you know what I am. I like Ella Eskino. I like uh, Roxy. I, I don't like the character too much, but like I like how she she plays that in game. And uh, I'm sure whatever Kate Arthur does, is gonna be pretty fun. I'm excited to see some humans because humans are not as common as uh, they should be. So, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.